to today with Marilyn and Sarah. Ooh. And I want to say to all of you wonderful, wonderful partners, wherever you are all over the world, I thank you. Sarah thanks you. We are so happy that you are our partners. Believe me. And we're reaching the world because of you and your help and your prayers. Now, let me just give you a testimony. Doreen called in for prayer over her son to have a negative COVID test, and it came back negative. So, you know, we pray. We don't just worry. We pray, and we pray for one another. And I would encourage you to call for prayer for your needs because we like to pray. We like to believe God. God likes to be believed for big things. Amen? I believe that. And Sarah, I think today we have a wonderful, wonderful guest. Maybe I'm prejudiced, but I think she's one of our best. Mm -hmm. Don't you think so? She's great. And today you're going to watch an interview with Diane Lehman. And she has a powerful, powerful book called Wrecked for God. And you're like, what on earth? I don't want to be wrecked. Like, that's a bad thing. I've been in a car wreck and I don't want that. However, this is a unique twist and tweak on the idea of being wrecked for God. And really, I want to encourage you, if you have needs in your life, make sure you hop on the phone, get on the website. But I also want you to think about this question. How do you want God to transform your life? What areas of your life need transformation? And as you think about that, I want you to watch this interview because Diane speaks to the power of true transformation. And really, that's very, very helpful because nothing is impossible with God. Together, we are impacting thousands of lives with the truth, compassion, and power of God's Word. But there is still much more to be done. By becoming a partner with Marilyn Hickey Ministries, you'll share in bringing God's miracles and healing to the sick, experiencing a deep love for the Bible, and taking the gospel to the nations. When you become a $30 a month partner with Marilyn and Sarah, we'll send you our welcome gift package, which includes the Jehovah Rapha oil vial with oil prayed over by Marilyn and Sarah, our exclusive partner CD set, which includes six CDs featuring 12 never before released teachings, the Majesty coffee table book featuring beautiful representations of the names of God and more. If you have a passion to reach the lost and are ready to release the anointing of God into your life, then join us today by becoming a partner. Call or click today and help Marilyn and Sarah cover the earth with the word. Thank you so much for joining today with Marilyn and Sarah. And I'm very eager to introduce to you our guest today, Diane Lehman. Thank oh, you, thank you, thank yes. you. Hello, Diane. It's Love good to you. be here. I appreciate yeah. you. I'm totally <laughs> glad you're here. Yes. And not everybody in our audience is familiar with you. So can you give us a kind of like a little thumbnail? Thumbnail? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of hard when you're 70, right, to give a <laughs> thumbnail. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I'm a lover of Jesus, first and foremost. But uh, what I love most about him is the plans I had for my life, he showed me his were far better. So I uh, was determined to be a professor on my way, getting my doctorate at the University of Illinois and boom, uh, met Jesus, met the Holy Spirit, got miraculously healed of infertility. And my husband and I ended up planting the Vineyard Church of Central Illinois. And that was in 1978, a long time ago, wow. which we've now transitioned to our daughter and son-in-law. So mm -hmm. we've been very active in the Vineyard Movement for all these years and continue to be active agents of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and got blessed with five wonderful children, four sons and a daughter. And as of right now, 18 wonderful grandchildren. So, oh, super. <laughs> yeah, That's a lot of life. And right. a lot. That's a lot of life. <clears throat> you wrote this book called Wrecked for God. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, wrecked, like, I don't want to think about being in a wreck. No. I think that's bad. So why would you kind of have this idea of being wrecked yeah. for God? Well, first of all, don't forget the subtitle because mm -hmm. that's really important. Yeah. The surprising secret to true transformation, mm -hmm. which I know we'll talk more about. But wrecked, of course, is a very popular description used by the young people. And it's all over our church anyway and all over the culture in a very positive sense. 
oh, I got wrecked by that music. Oh, I got wrecked, yeah, mm -hmm. for the sport or whatever. So not at all a damaging thing, but a good thing. Right. And so I chose that because I wanted to appeal to all ages to say, guess what? There is the ultimate wrecking and it's wrecking for God. Mm -hmm. And I often add for good. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you talk in here about transformation and you might be watching right now and maybe you have some areas in your life that need to be wrecked, right? <laughs> right. You need God to come in and kind of do some upheaval. We would love to pray for you in whatever areas those might be. Might be you might need some upheaval in your finances. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you might need some upheaval, some wrecking in your relationships. Maybe there's some health issues that are going on. You need God to come in and touch and wreck the plans of the enemy. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We'd love to pray for you. And of course, grab your copy of Wrecked for God. Um, and in here you talk about when you say true transformation yes. as opposed to fake. <laughs> What's the difference? Well, I believe my experience has been, and I believe it's the experience of many, religion, embracing religion can harness people with a false transformation. You know, we put on a happy face. We buck up. We pretend because we're trying, our intentions are good. You know, we're trying to do what Jesus has said, be who Jesus is. And yet we've missed the secret to true transformation, transformation that is for eternity. And that secret, uh, I was told that secret early on in my, my walk with the Holy Spirit in Jesus. And this was way back in the 80s. A woman came to our church and said, uh, what do you think is the secret to the Christian life? And we were all, we had to write it down, like 24 hour prayer, you know, fasting, 40 days, intense Bible study, sacrificial giving, you know, and no, no, no. And then she opened the Bible to Colossians 1:27, and she said, you want to know the secret? This was hidden for centuries. It's now been revealed. That secret is Christ in you. So now learning to live in the reality of God actually lives in me, <laughs> like that's kind of audacious, right? Mm -hmm. But learning to live in that relationship, that friendship, that union, that's been a lifelong journey, but that's the starting point for transformation. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's the best life in the world. Mm -hmm. And she has a wonderful book mm -hmm. called Wrecked for God. And it is a surprising secret to true, true transformation. Now, I love all of this because I think this is where I always want to live and I don't want to slide back, <laughs> you know. So it helps me to keep up to date. So I know you would really like, I, you would love the book more than like it. <laughs> you would love it. So I encourage you. You can call in for prayer, but get the book <laughs> and let the book wreck you. Yes. You yes. will really, really like it. And, you know, folks, I think the legalistic thing I could drop into, mm -hmm. I'm so German and that's so, yeah, <laughs> kind of the way we are. And so it's an excellent book. And you'll love it. You'll love to share it with others. <laughs> so when we talk about, like, legalism, um, yeah. Not everybody is familiar. What does that mean? What does that look like? And so when you when you say that, um, and, and particularly in terms of like religion and religious mm -hmm. legalism, what does that look like to you? And how did you how are you familiar yeah. with that? Uh, well, the faith in which I was raised for all of its good. And I'm very German also, Marilyn. So oh, I yeah. oh, yes. And so I was raised in an Anabaptist faith that that uh, really was legalistic in the sense that very strict rules of do's and don'ts and very strict guidelines, particularly for women. Women had to be silent, which was very difficult for me. And women had to cover their heads. Women couldn't wear makeup, also difficult for me. No jewelry, no sports, no music, no dating. And uh, all of this, uh, you know, was equated with a performance that would please God. What I didn't realize is he was so pleased with me. He had created me. He had paid for my transformation with the blood of his own son. <laughs> and while that was taught, the bottom line was always perform, perform, do right, do good. And 
I was a complete failure at all of it. Hmm. And uh, I always want to honor my parents. They were wonderful Christians, hardworking Christians, loved Jesus to the end and stayed faithful through 60, I think 68 years of marriage. But when I hit the campus of the University of Illinois in 1969, I didn't want anything to do with church, God, religion of any kind. <laughs> yeah. So you kind of went off the plot. Totally. <laughs> but you know, we have a seeking God and we never get out of his sight. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. always think that was a good thing. But now, you know, I discovered, oh, that's the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, we have viewers here that are watching mm -hmm. and maybe your kids have lost the plot. Yes. <clears throat> They've kind of uh, gone wayward. And we would love to pray for your kids, pray for your grandkids that are really not, not connected with Jesus. So hop on the phone, get on the website, give us the names just briefly. Um, we want to pray for them. And of course, grab your copy of Wrecked for God. It'll help you in your walk, but also maybe you can pass it on to them as well to help them see the kind of legalism isn't necessarily um, being uh, God serving. In some yes. respects, I think legalism is very constrictive and very keeps you in bondage. Absolutely. So what did your parents do when you were at school, at university? <laughs> Uh, the, the thing I discovered about my parents uh, later in life is a day didn't go by that they did not get on their knees, literal knees, and pray for every one of their six children and then the eventual 23 grandchildren that they had by name. And so I know there was a ton of prayer. But you know what my parents did great? This is what I want to say to our audience. Just lavishly love your children because love never fails and the love of the Lord will just ooze out of you. And I had a true transformation from very judgmental. I mean, even after I became a Christian, it, you know, that stuff is very deep in you. You, you judge people, you, you think you're being holy. And uh, <laughs> wow. When I learned to see people the way Jesus sees them as valuable and worthwhile and made in his image, so much easier to love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think for our viewers too, I would just encourage you, sometimes we find it hard to love because we don't let God love us. So true. And so <laughs> I just want to encourage you with this verse. Romans 5 verse 5 says, the love of the Father is poured out into your heart through Holy Spirit. And that's my prayer for you right now, that you would sense Holy Spirit pouring God's mm -hmm. love, the Father's love into your heart not because of what you've done or because of your compliance or your legalism or, or strict piety, but because of who God is, right? God is love and God loves you. Yes, that's so good. <laughs> Do you long for true transformation? Do you desire to break free from exhausting fear and fruitless striving? For your gift of $35 or more, we will send you Diane Lehman's book, Wrecked for God. In this faith-altering book, you will be guided out of a Christian life of doing and into union with the Lord Jesus Christ, a union that will provide rest, freedom, delight, and grace that is not exhausting but exhilarating. We will also send you Marilyn's book, Enjoy Life, her teaching CD, A Brand New Start, along with our Breaking Free Scripture Card. For your gift of $100 or more, we will include our Names of God Afghan, Rest in your relationship with God as you wrap yourself in the different names that shows His faithfulness at your point of need. Break the shackles of religion and embrace a fruitful, fulfilling life with Jesus that you never thought possible. Call or click today for this valuable resource. Sarah Bowling, Living Genuine Love, is on a mission to connect every one with the heart of God. With a passion for the Bible and the gift of teaching, Sarah brings a new perspective to articulate God's life-giving revelation to our modern moment. God's heart relentlessly reaches all our hidden places and changes us from the inside out. And Living Genuine Love is equipping people with resources and tools that empower them to walk in this intimate relationship with God. Sarah is a powerful scholar and spirit-led teacher with a gift and passion that takes her many places around the world to bring lasting change to each of us who are craving the transformative love of God. At Living Genuine Love, we're committed to seeing you walk in a vibrant relationship with God every day. Learn more about Sarah Bowling and her ministry, Living Genuine Love, by visiting sarahbowling.org. 
or call us at 800-627-1995. Welcome back to Today with Marilyn and Sarah. And we have the most astounding guest. Maybe I think she's astounding because she's so much like my background. <laughs> you know, German, yes. Schweitzer, all this. <laughs> and her book is called Wrecked for God. And that's actually what happened to me. But you say wrecked. That doesn't sound like it's very good. So, Diane, explain <laughs> why you use wrecked yeah. for God. <laughs> well, again, really in a very positive way. Yeah. That very. He, he was able, th the incredible thing about the new birth is we become a brand new person. The old Diane literally died. Yeah. And learning to live in the reality of, Okay, that's been wrecked. And now I become this new person. And I often say, stop trying to fix the old. You know, there's a lot of people, a lot of Christians who try to fix the exactly. old. Exactly. You know, I, I'm not against like inner healing or things like that by any means, but spend too much time trying to fix up the old instead of learning to live in the new, learning to live who Jesus has made me to be. Uh, and so it doesn't mean my personality is obliterated. You know, that isn't wrecked. No. I'm still, I'm the only Diane Lehman that will ever walk the face of the earth as you're the only Marilyn Hickey and Sarah Bowling, right? Mm. Your DNA is unique. So your personality given to you by God, you know, redeemed now and learning to live as one with him. Mm -hmm. It's quite the challenge. And <laughs> what does it look like when we're not one with him? Well, we are one with him. And I, I, I want to always be very clear because early on in my quest to learn, how do I live with Christ in me? I, I read a lot of Catholic mystics, which I like Catholic mystics, but their whole paradigm is you go level by level by level. There's a lot of striving. There's a lot of self-focus. When I got more savior focused and went, wait a minute, this is already done. I'm already one with him. But now I can live to live in the, choose to live in the reality of that or not, kind of like in a marriage. You know, I can choose to live as one with my husband happy. And by the way, we just celebrated 50 years on uh, wow. August 29th. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That's um, great. And I've spent a lot of time not living as one with him. Didn't change the fact that we were one. D does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So if you could give us some keys, some points to how do we continue to recognize I'm already in union with Jesus, yes. recognizing those those really important points and, and how, what does that look like in our daily life? And, and basically that is the premise of the entire book. And so I'll take you through my journey of how I stopped embracing an identity of just a sinner saved by grace to no, I'm a saint empowered by the grace mm. of the Holy Spirit living within me. And it, so it, that's a process. That's a daily process. I like to be filled every day with his spirit. But then all the different lessons he taught me about how do you pray more effectively as one with Jesus? You know, how do you minister more effectively? And I've learned lots of lessons that I detail. And but I love it that his mercy is new every day. And uh, uh, I like this quote. It's not original to me. I'm learning to live in the grace of one day. I don't waste God's grace worrying about yesterday or fretting about tomorrow. I'm living in his empowering today. Please say that again. Okay. I'm learning to live in the grace of one day. You know, Jesus said, don't take thought for tomorrow, right? Right. Okay, so I receive that empowering grace, his presence in me, all that I need for today. And we learn you know, to partner with that. The minute I start worrying about tomorrow or regretting yesterday, I've wasted the grace of today. Hmm. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> I love that. Yes. I know you do. <laughs> and, you know, you might be watching now and you're just really coming, having an epiphany. Like if the light goes on, you're like, oh, my goodness. And we tend to be future minded or mm -hmm. past 
oriented. And God wants to help you for today. So hop on the phone, get on the website, and just tell us briefly, you know, help me not to worry about the future or regret the past, whichever orientation. And make sure you grab your copy of Wrecked for God when you get on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you as well as help you get this book. It'll be super, super helpful to you and very transformational. One of the chapters in here, you talk about life being messy, yeah. right? And yes. messy living. And, and I thought that was really powerful because I was like, yeah, life gets messy. It's not just this pristine little perfect scenario. So when you talk about <laughs> messy, what do you mean by that? Yes. <clears throat> well, and again, I think religion does a, a, a very damaging job of making us think, you know, everything should be in order, kept in order. And then there's even some messages, you know, out there that, well, once you become a spirit-filled Christian, no more problems, no more messes, <laughs> which... <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Um, so, yes, life is messy. And I'm very grateful, actually, to the Vineyard Movement because uh, our founder, J John Wimber, who's since gone on to live with Jesus, he very early on encouraged us to be people of messy mercy, messy mercy, because all kinds of people come into our lives and into our churches, into our neighborhoods who, you know what? They don't smell great. Their lives aren't great. There's a ton <laughs> of brokenness. And I want to be a person who's not, you know, uh, put off by messes, whether that's in my own family or in those around me. And so I like to access messy, uh, the messy mercy of God. And particularly when you believe in miracles, as both of you do, you know, that's a messy ministry. There's, there's, yeah, there's messy that people is. and there's people who don't get healed. And, you know, there's a lot of mess. But yeah, Jesus is big enough for all the mess. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and how do you handle mess in the moment? Right. Because sometimes that's really dis disturbing. It, the mess can be very disturbing. And again, I like to lead with love. I, I like to lead with love. You can't go wrong with love. And so to the degree that that's possible, and I remember to access his love within me uh, before I lose it, you know, or judge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I always remember, you know, his mercy towards me and his love for me. As you mentioned earlier, Sarah, when we stay settled in that, it's so much easier to let it flow through us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think too, I, I, I always forget the number of the Psalm, but remember his loving kindness endures forever. forever. And there's one Psalm that that's like the whole, I that's think it's 136. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking 126, yeah, and I was yeah. like right in there. And he's the Psalmist says one phrase and then his loving kindness mm -hmm. endures forever. Yeah. One phrase, his loving kindness endures forever. Yes. And I think that's a really powerful thing when we consider his loving kindness endures forever. So it goes that way. It's this way mm -hmm. and it's this way. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we don't get to calibrate that. No, we don't. Mm -hmm. Like more or less. Yeah. So I just encourage you, mm -hmm. hop on the phone, get on the website. We'd love to pray for you that you would know the loving kindness of our kind, loving Heavenly Father mm -hmm. for you today in this moment. Hop on the phone, get on the website, grab your copy of Wrecked for God. Super, super helpful. Now I'm going to finish quick just mm -hmm. for a second here. Transformation. Yes. I want it now. <laughs> of course we all do. Uh -huh. And what do you, how do you answer that when it's not, it doesn't happen now? Yes. And, and you're, you're not alone wanting it now. We buy the pills, the plans, you know, uh, well, the truth is, in God's eyes, he sees us transformed. He sees us that way. And so our choice is just to keep cooperating with that transformation and to know, you know, he's a good, good father. And as any, and you've both been parents, you know, like, you're the biggest cheerleader. Yes. Is there discipline? Absolutely. But I don't, quote, take it personally. I take it gratefully. And so I'm committed to cooperate with that transformation. And I'm here to say many years later, as you two can testify, Marilyn, uh, it's true. Mm. He does it. He does the hard work. Mm. And we just keep saying yes to him. Mm -hmm. So you find yourself drastically different at this age as opposed to 30? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yes. <laughs> you like yourself better today than 30? In most ways, yes. yes. That's yes. totally cool. Yeah. I just encourage you to hop on the phone, get on the website. God has transformation for you, as well as every member of your family, people that you're concerned about. We would love to pray for you, that you would continue to experience and cooperate with God's transforming power presence in your life that's grounded in genuine love. And when you do, hop on the phone, get on the website, grab your copy of Wrecked for God. Do you long for true transformation? Do you desire to break free from exhausting fear and fruitless striving? For your gift of $35 or more, we will send you Diane Lehman's book, Wrecked for God. In this faith-altering book, you will be guided out of a Christian life of doing and into union with the Lord Jesus Christ, a union that will provide rest, freedom, delight, and grace that is not exhausting but exhilarating. We will also send you Marilyn's book, Enjoy Life, her teaching CD, A Brand New Start, along with our Breaking Free Scripture Card. For your gift of $100 or more, we will include our Names of God Afghan, Rest in your relationship with God as you wrap yourself in the different names that shows His faithfulness at your point of need. Break the shackles of religion and embrace a fruitful, fulfilling life with Jesus that you never thought possible. Call or click today for this valuable resource. We are so happy that you've watched our program today. Diane, would you pray for our audience to experience transformation? I would love that. And what I want to encourage in this prayer is... I love to pray the scriptures. And this has been one of my favorite scriptures. And I want to pray it over you because this is the will of God. I pray that Christ will be more and more at home in your hearts, living within you as you trust in him. May your roots go down deep into the soil of God's marvelous love. And may you be able to feel and understand, as all God's children should, how long, how wide, how deep, how high his love really is, and to experience this love for yourself. So it is so great. You'll probably never see the end of it or fully know or understand, but at last, you will be filled with God himself. That is the will of the Lord. May it be done, O Holy Spirit, Penetrate every one of our listeners with this truth. Bear your fruit. Bring freedom. Bring fruitfulness. Bring the reality of Christ in each one. Amen. Amen. Now, I want you to say, this is the best day of my life. Well, how do I know that? Well, you do it by faith <laughs> because Jesus Christ lives big in me. Best day because of Jesus. Mm -hmm.